What's up guys this one I want to go over the uh, want to go over the layers tool and talk a little bit more about that and uh, there's a couple of cool tricks you can do with layers so when I first start drawing something I rarely have my back uh, I really draw my background layer and by the way if you don't know where layers is go to windows you know layers and it'll have that option I think that just turned it off so let me just put turn it back on and it'll have uh, it'll have a box over here you can unhinge and hinge to your tool to your bar, toolbar over here and uh, usually it'll start out with his default background you know which is usually locked uh, so you can't like I guess delete it or something uh, you can still delete it if you want but I usually go down here and create a new layer or you can just right click it somewhere I think there's like create a new layer somewhere I'm not sure but I just go down here and click this symbol create a new layer on top of that and then that's where I normally start what I'm gonna be doing you know what I mean um, let me give you some idea of. Uh, let me give you an example of something real quick. Let's say I'm dealing with whatever this is, foggy red robot. I have no clue. And. Uh, that would be like usually I put a character on one layer whatever that is pretend it's a character on one layer and I would literally go over here and rename it you know character or whatever that character would be because you don't you want to keep track of what layers you're on and so let's say I have that character but I want I want to throw them in a background I would create another layer see how that's above I would pull it below you can kind of drag these layers to see what shows and what doesn't show and I would uh, Maybe throw a layer behind him of, uh, hold on one second, that's a mistake. Take another layer, let me like, give it like blue sky, something like that. And I'll throw that behind him. Let's give him a ground plane. Let's see, delete. Let's see. Throw like a ground plane over here. Oops. You know, whatever. But um, this would all be going on behind him. I could literally drop all that stuff behind him without affecting him. So that's really uh, an important thing to do, to think about. Um, another thing to think about is you can add effects for these layers. These I can add a new layer, and I could change the layer type. Uh, I look over here to the toolbar to the right. See where it says normal? It says normal. It's actually a drop-down menu. You can change it to something else. I'm going to change it to color dodge and use my brush tool on that. Uh, where's my brush tool? B. Or brush tool. Let me select that color and then I'll start doing this. It'll have this weird effect with color dodge. It'll start giving it a ton of saturation. It'll be like super bright and super saturated. You know what I mean? It'll give a whole different effect. Like uh, maybe there's like rays of sun coming from somewhere, but it's not. It's not choosing from that color. It's it's a uh, kind of saturating it with the color that it's selected. I got that red on. You know. But you can do this with uh, with almost anything. You can change that kind. Make it soft light. That doesn't do much. Hard light. Uh, let's see screen. Every these mess with these. Uh, everybody I know messes with these. Darken, but it's right here. If you don't know where it is, go. You select the layer that you want to kind of change the properties of, and you go over here to the top left, right below kind, and usually it says normal. But just play with these exclusion. The ones I use the most are color dodge. I use that a lot. I actually maybe use that more than anything, and I use multiply. Uh, multiply like if I want to color a line art character and I'll show you that in another video uh, saturation anyways I just want to go over that really quick because it's so important and I use that 
constantly, you know, this uh, layers tool. Uh, if you have any tips uh, on using layers, anybody out there's experienced, this was geared for people that have never, ever, ever used Photoshop, ever. So that's what this is geared for. I wanted to kind of make that uh, caption there. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Um, I'll talk to you later.